Hi, this is Faino Jabbar. See you guys again. Uh, still in Microsoft Excel tutorial. Okay, I hope that you guys from the previous class, I hope that you guys already uh, remember this for function. Alright, okay, we already complete this uh, this table as well. Alright, so today we go, what we're going to do is we're going to have the proper example, proper table for the calculation, which is will involve more than two cell. Alright, okay, so we have the exercises for additions, subtractions, multiplications, and dividing here if you still remember I did mention that we have a few ways to do the additions um, function to insert the addition function but in previous class we just manually indicates one by one for example we plus b7 plus c7 plus d7 to get the total sales but there is another way as well which is we can use the auto sum or we're going to insert the sum function example here all right remember we have to start our calculation remember we we have to start our calculation by inserting equal sign okay maybe i can in make it bigger so that it's easy for you to see all right for example here we start with the addition first so that we can focus on this all right so again we insert equal if from what uh, from what I thought you guys uh, in previous class, we just need to add one by one. It should be okay. All right, it should be okay. The the answer will still correct. But let's say we have the long, we have the more, we have more than ten cell, ten cell that involve in the calculation, twenty cells and etc. So we can make it things simple by press by inserting equal remember sum just click uh, click properly if uh, until this bracket appear sum bracket then you're going to highlight from which cell until which cell that you want to make it involved in the calculation for example here b it will indicate here b8 until d8 we can check b8 until d8 then we just enter so the answer will be correct as well you can double click to see where is the calculations from where the calculations get uh, from where they get the informations okay you see double click enter okay or maybe you can uh, use another way which is you just go to auto sum here and click here again auto sum here and click if you're using this function this particular uh, program will uh, will predict for you will predict for you which cell that you want to make it uh, involved in these calculations so sometimes it will be correct sometimes it will uh, it will predict some things is not tally with what we want for example here we just want to mm, add b9 c9 and d9 but according to the program it detect from the a9 so we don't want this figure this stuff number to be involved in our calculation let's say we involve this four of course the answer will be wrong so what you have to do is you go to that particular the angle until that particular arrow appear then you drag until where for example here you want to drag only these two cell you see the blue color or maybe three color it's up to you it's up it's deeper to the calculation this one two only so you can see the the, the once you're moving this you can see that the, the formula keep changing look at this okay i show to you you move keep changing all right okay so let's say just this three cell enter then it will be okay okay again go to this auto sum sum it will predict for you okay again it predict you the different things here all right we don't want this total cell we don't want this total sales but we want this thing so you just drag to this three cell you will understand your instruction enter equal sum bracket open bracket highlight 
enter so there are a few ways that you can use in order to perform this uh, additions formula capture all right so now we go to another one which is we go to subtraction all right okay this is stuff number one two three and five gross salary deductions all right maybe because of the uh, because of the epf or maybe because of the the debt and etc so this is a net salary so we know to have the net salary to find the net salary we have to deduct the gross salary okay all right so same using the equal for cell minus second cell am i too fast enter again equal for cell the sign second enter okay you can do one by one like this but let's say you have a hundred stuff here do you need to insert the formula again and again and again yes can but there is a different way to complete this example here once you click okay let's say you delete this one right so there is no calculation just you do our first one you click here then you go to this angle all right there is a uh, there is a something here you can see all right like a shape square shape there all right and if you move your cursor to that things it will change your cursor you see bigger smaller after you get this sign what you have to do is you just drag and then the formula will be copied to add up for the next cell then you can check for example here it will be involved this two this one will be involved for the next one it keep moving all right keep moving okay all right done for subtractions means you need to deduct all right deductions simple then we go to the next which is multiplications all right here the same information all right a sales for monthly all right and then you go into times with 12 months mean annual income here equal first cell star indicates multiplications second cell and enter is it correct 2000 times 12 24000 for annual income correct so again we just click here we can see there is the cursor here and then we move cursor to the this side slowly until it change again until it change all right until it change to this then you drag simple okay then last but not least is a dividing equal again this annual income they're going to uh, divide to 52 weeks enter again equal for cell slash and enter click to that particular cell move your cursor until you can see this sign and track okay it's very simple actually all right seriously it's very simple okay that's all for this episode all right i really hope that you guys can follow me uh so far because we're going to have a more tougher function soon okay see you guys again in the home lecture and thank you for watching bye